Oh man, I can't shoot a basketball or throw a football, but I could throw a good punch and a kick, so. Just train my ass off, man. Run, hit the bag, practice kickboxing, grappling, wrestling, boxing, uh, a lot of conditioning, you know, get plenty of rest, eat properly. I've always had an interest in fighting ever since I was a kid, and I did karate, and, uh, and I wrestled in high school, and I figured out what, what next should I do, and kickboxing came along, and I won a couple national titles in that. And then it kind of like, where, where else you go? So MMA was was it. Get to combine all my skills in, in, in the one ring. I tell you what, man, Eric's a tough guy. I ain't even gonna lie. You know, I went the distance. I won the fight by decision. Uh, he got a couple good takedowns in, you know. I outstruck him though. I was able to defend a few of the takedowns. And at the end of the fight, I just went to the scorecards and I won the decision unanimously. Oh, man, it was a good fight, you know. He, he was punching me in the face and, and I was, Throwing them around a little bit, threw them over the ropes. We went over the ropes once. It was a, it was a good fight. So it should make an interesting rematch. I don't know, man. It's pretty much going to go the way it went the last time. Might be a little bit quicker. Eric's getting knocked out tomorrow night. You know, definitely, definitely. You know, he uh, he wants to prove, he wants to rematch to prove that he got robbed in the last fight. I don't think he got robbed. You know, I think it was a fair decision. So if I got to prove it to him again tomorrow night, got no problem proving it to him again tomorrow night. It's it's not kickboxing this time. It's uh, MMA. So so when I when I take him down, which I did a bunch of times in the Sanchow match, I'm gonna keep him down and, and pound him out. So he better be ready for that. Out of the blue corner, coming in at six foot tall, 155 pounds, fighting out of Miami, Florida. This is Adrian Morrison. Okay, you are looking at Adron Morrison. He's 1-0 as a pro, 6 feet tall, 155 pounds. That is a, a lot of height for a 155-pounder. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, 5 foot 10, 154 pounds, from Bradenton, Florida, Eric Reynolds. Eric Reynolds, 5'11", 21 years old, 3-0, and, oh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you take this one because this guy is real fun to watch. I'm telling you what, I know we've said it maybe once, maybe twice a night, but this really does have potential for fight of the night. Eric Reynolds finished his last fight in 22 seconds. He loves to, to rush his opponent. He loves to strike hard, strike fast, and Adron Morrison comes from a very tough camp in Freestyle Fighting Academy with the Avalon Brothers. This fight is gonna be explosive. They're both lean, they're both in great shape, and this fight is what mixed martial arts should be all about. And controlling the action in the ring, David Ortiz. <laughs> Eric Reynolds says, I will ground and pound him. I am going to ground and pound him, and he better watch out for my strikes to the face. Well, I tell you what, this is the game. Mixed martial arts, you can't just be a good grappler, a good wrestler, a good boxer, or a good traditional stylist or a good Muay Thai guy. You have to be extremely well-rounded in every facet. And Eric Reynolds is that bright future kid that trains his hands, trains his feet, and goes forward on the ground. He is so well-rounded, but he's fighting a guy right now that's just like him, and we'll see how it goes. Woo, boy, coming out fast and hard. Two tall, lean 55ers. Both sharing a little over-under clinch right here, kind of a Greco-Roman style. It's all about balance and who can get the hip toss in. It looks like Eric's trying to get a hip toss, but he actually shifted his hips. Good recovery for Adron Morrison, who just tried a hip toss of his own. Oh! It's over! Hey, this needs to be done! It's over. Oh, that's deadly. Oh, that is deadly. I think, if anything, that was a flash K-out. He went to sleep, hit the floor, and woke up. 
Adrian Morrison is very upset, and Eric Reynolds is standing above us. He is absolutely on fire. Flash knockout or not, that right hand and his his dominance, right, he got right on Morrison. Morrison got up very quickly, but you know, you, just in the interest of fighter safety, referee stopping that one because when you get hit like that, it's hard to tell if the fighter's okay or not. Man, this kid finished his fights. I don't know if you have it on our clock or not, but that was easily under two minutes. 22 seconds, two minutes or less here. We'll get an official time here from our uh, from our ring announcer. But I tell you what, man, Adron Morrison is no joke. The team he comes from is no joke, and Eric Reynolds is here to stay. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called the stop to this bout at 43 seconds into the first round for the winner by technical knockout, Eric Reynolds! Eric Reynolds, oh my goodness, that right hand taking Morrison out of the picture. Now Morrison got up, he said he wasn't hurt. Do you think you hurt him? He, he was asleep, but that was a year and a half in the making, so I owe it to him. He, he was my first loss in kickboxing, and it, and it feels great. Revenge is sweet. Now, Eric Reynolds, there was something you did. There was something you did very good there. After you got that flash knockout, you got right on Morrison, and you didn't leave it up to chance. If anything, you got the referee involved. Was that your game plan? Yeah, um, if you read the break the Herald today, it said I wanted to win on top, pounding them out, and that's what I did. And now, Eric Reynolds, earlier on before this fight, I asked you if you won against Morrison, who would you most like to fight? And you said none other than Alan Monster Lobster Baruby from Ultimate Fighter. And you said you wanted to fight him because he was a punk. Yeah, he's a punk. He took, he took my dog Scott Bill spot on the show. And I want to whoop his ass for that. So you ready to whoop the monster's ass? Scott Bill should have been on the fighter, Ultimate Fighter, not him. So you said Monster Lobster should not have been on the Ultimate Fighter? Yes. I, I think you should stick to the appetizer menu. I don't think you can. Uh, I don't think you can afford lobster. <laughs> I like shrimp anyway. So you think you can take the monster at 55? I'll take him right now. Oh. oh. You guys want to see that fight? 